Hey guys, this is Jack, and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple picture frame in Blender in less than five minutes. Now, um, here's what it looks like in the end if you follow all the steps in the video. And um, in order to create this in five minutes, I'm going to use quite a few hotkeys. Um, those are super useful if you plan on getting um, really serious about modeling in Blender. Those hotkeys are a must. Um, those will be shown over here. Um, this is a screencast for the keys, which is a very nifty um, plug-in for Blender. And um, yeah, um, we can go ahead and get started. Um, I'll go ahead and delete this picture frame so we can start fresh. Um, so if you uh, if you haven't changed the default scene, you will most of the time see a cube in the center like this. And um, this is how Blender is going to start out. It gives you a cube. Um, you can go ahead and delete that cube. Actually, we will need a plane. Now, um, there's something in Blender. That when, when you create an object, the object will be created where the 3D cursor is. What the 3D cursor is is that it's, um, it acts sort of like a, uh, a pivot point for, for your object. So, so say you create a you move the 3D cursor and you create a cube it will be created there and sometimes you have your 3D cursor all the way there and you create an object and you have no idea where it went well it's actually where the 3D cursor is so um, it can be a little bit frustrating for people who just started out in Blender so um, here's some really useful um, sh um, shortcut keys and um, hotkeys for to, to bring the cursor back to the center is shift C if you press Shift C, um, the camera will be reset to where to be able to see all of the objects on the um, on the scene, and it will reset the um, cursor to the center of the grid or the center of the Blender space, which is zero 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 and X Y and Z. So um, just Shift C if you feel really um, uncomfortable about where the cursor is. So we'll start with a plane. We'll create a plane. Then um, we'll go into um, well. I press the period there so that I I can uh, so that I move the camera to where my active object is. Um, now we'll go press tab to go into object mode, and we're going to press A to um, deselect everything. So A will be toggle between selecting everything and deselecting everything. Um, I'll I'll press B. To, to um, do the um, box selection like this and I'll remove three of the vertices um, of, the, um, of the plane. Now the only vertex left, if you can't see it, there's actually a, a vertex here. Um, the only vertex left is a left, top left corner vertex. Uh, make sure there are 3D cursors in the center and press shift S to move um, and hit on um, selection to cursor to move the vertex to the center of, of the grid. Now um, this is best work on um, by in the orthogonal view so you can go ahead and press numpad 5 and then numpad 7 um, so now you have one vertex in the center of the screen you can go ahead and hit numpad 3 to go to the side side view um, from here, from that, that vertex that you have, you can press E to extrude. Um, so the first side of the, um, the picture frame is going to be um, really vertical. So I'll, after I press E, I'll be able to move the second vertex freely like this. But if I press Z, it will be restricted to the Z axis. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't show over here. So um, you just have to follow what I say. So I can put the, first, um, the second vertex here, and then I can create another vertex like this. And I pretty much just create a contour of, or I mean the grooves of, of the picture frame. So if your picture frame happens to be like this, then yeah, it will be like that. And then um, this is the final um, one that goes down. Now there's a very uh, nifty way that I, I want this vertex to hit the absolute zero of this. Now there's a really nifty trick in um, Blender that you can do is you can change your pivot point to 3D cursor and you press S to size it and now if you size based on the pivot point 
it will be like this. It will it will it will size it based off of yeah, technically a 3D cursor. But if you restrict it to the Z axis and you press zero on the numpad, it will technically size along the Z axis global. It um it actually says over there I can move it out there. But it's actually set on the bottom right um corner that I'm sizing in along the Z axis globally and then I press enter and now this this vertex will be exactly at zero in the Z axis okay so after I have um, this sort of contour thing looking like this um, I can press A and then A again to select everything now I'll go to the top view which is um, 7 and the numpad key I will rotate this negative um, 45 degree. Um, I will, so I will type minus 4, 5 in the numpad. Or you can actually type it on like the regular keys. You just have to type negative 45. It will rotate it exactly 45 degree negative. Yeah. Back to the top view. Um, now I'll press E and then press X. In the X direction, it doesn't show there, but I pressed X. To, to extrude it in the x direction and then I um, change the pivot point to the median point then I press control M to mirror and like it doesn't show anything yet because I didn't specify which direction I want to mirror it in so I want to mirror it in the x axis so I press x and press enter now my picture frame will look like this so, so you, you're starting to see what I'm trying to do here and uh, I can extrude it in the Y direction down here and again I'll press Control M and Y at this point I technically have half of the picture frame right so now here's a really cool trick um, I can select this vertex in that corner and this vertex in that corner so as you can see the midpoint of these two vertices will be will technically be the midpoint of the whole picture frame right so now if I has hit shift s I can move the cursor to select it and the selected here will technically be the midpoint of the two vertices so now my cursor is at the um, the center or the yeah the center of the um, of the whole picture frame now I press a to deselect and then press a again to select everything now um, I have to change the pivot point to 3D cursor then I'll press shift D to clone but since I don't want to move it so I, I can simply hit escape that will that will cancel all the, all the movement it still cloned the, the, um, the frame but it doesn't move it anywhere now I can hit um, control M to mirror through X axis then I hit control M to mirror again through the Y axis now we have a full picture frame but not quite yet because we still have two separate pieces of the picture frame here um, so what I can do is I can press A to deselect and press A again and then I can hit um, W to, to pull up the special menu and then I hit remove doubles as you can see up here I removed 16 vertices that means it it will merge so remove the removing doubles will merge all of the vertices that are on top of each other or have like the same location in space and now you have one solid piece of the picture frame now you're not quite there yet but you're very close to ending um, so now the picture frame is still hollow so in order to select um, in order to create a, a polygon or a, a surface here you can hit alt and then select one of the bottom corner ver vertices and that will select a loop of vertices for you which is a very useful tool in Blender and then hit F to um, create a surface or create a polygon so yeah that's about it, but um, now the um, the pivot point of this picture is actually still there and not like in the center like if you if you rotate it it will rotate around that that um, pivot point which is not really uh, a, a desired result so what you can do is you can again select this corner 
and select that corner and then you shift S and move the cursor to select it even though the cursor is already there I just want to show you this and then you go hit tab to go back to the um, object mode um, and then you hit control shift alt C that's a really long um, combo or a long hotkey there so what you um, want to do is move the origin of uh, the object to 3D cursor then you hit shift C to move the cursor back to the center and then you hit shift S and then move um, the selection to cursor so now your picture is centered and has a really good pivot point uh, or I mean the origin um, now if you look at this thing the color looks a little bit off and like the reflection doesn't work nicely that is because the, the, um, the normals are actually um, flipped in the wrong direction so what you can do is you can go back into um, edit mode by hitting tab and then um, press A to select everything and then go to the um, shading so shading and UVs um, tab here under shading um, normal hit recalculate this will make sure the, um, the normal of, of the surfaces on here will not be all like um, jacked up and it will show better in other um, tools and other program because like uh, you know like in other program like unity um, the um, other surface like the back face will be cold that means it will not be shown at all you can um, simulate the same effect by hit, um, selecting back face cold in here so if, if your normal was like before which was sort of like this you will not see anything when you look directly at the, the um, at the object so make sure everything is recalculated um, all the norm normals are recalculated and now you only have to texture it and um, yeah that's it thank you for watching